Hey guys, how's it going? Just getting up here and, uh, uh, you know, I gotta do this thing, dude. Ah, okay, yeah, sorry. No, no. How do you want me to shoot this? Better, yeah, get a better angle. We've been doing this for three hours. Yeah, no, I gotta get the right angle, though. Okay, got it. It needs to it. be more dramatic. More kind of like lifelike, realistic. Oh, yeah, okay, like this. Yeah, get, get a, yeah, just zoom in and then track. One second, one second. Say, like, uh, waking up shot, take 65 or something. Got Action, it. just say that. Waking up shot, take 65. Action. <sighs> oh, hey guys. This is a normal day for myself. Gotta get up, busy day. Here's some of my friends. Um, here's, you know, water. I like to stay hydrated. Usually I like some uh, Perrier, but I don't have any Perrier, so I guess I just gotta focus on poverty water. We got a silent mic here. Oh, uh, shout out to silent mic. The most aesthetic person in the history of people. Mike, why don't you just give some motivational quotes to get us started for the day? Basically, when I wake up, I didn't even sleep because I was hustling, murdering, killing, grind. Cops are coming because I just killed the game. It's like Toronto on crack when it comes to the total amount of people. I feel the increased population density probably makes individuals more apathetic towards one another. There's a lot of homeless people. Um, there's a lot of people. I think people tend to. I think that New Yorkers are rude, but it seems everyone just has somewhere to go and they know what they want. Whereas I think in a big city like LA, everybody may be superficially friendly, but they're kind of fake as fuck. So New York right now, the big thing I'm noticing personally that I'm really enjoying is all the architecture, all the older buildings. Toronto has more like buildings, let's say from the late 1800s, 1900s, not a lot of them because Toronto is a newer city, but New York is older, so it has more history. And it's kind of all those little details that give it character. And the food so far has been pretty fucking good. So, excited to explore. Excited that we got kicked out of our old place by the cops. And now we're staying in a hotel. And now we're gonna train. There's a lot of uh, hot guy babes here. Yeah, I know. There's Mike, there's uh, Kevin, there's uh, Teron. Fuck. What's up? What's happening, man? There's some moderately strong people. Huh? Mo moderately, moderately strong moderately. with great hair. With great hair. Kevin, just uh, give me a quick intro for those that might not be aware. You have the 220 record. What's your best squat? Like, you're, uh, you're excellent at all the lifts. You have a huge squat. Um, all right, so I've been powerlifting for about four, five, I think about four years. Yeah. Um, compete raw and raw with reps. Yep. I had the raw with reps total for, at 220 with like 2150. Yeah. Then Yuri came and then the Russians came. He beat it by a couple pounds. <laughs> yeah, a pound or two. A pound or two there. But then I also compete in sleeves. Yeah. I still have the sleeves total record, 2101. Yep. Um, I forget what, it was like an 810 squat, which is the American squat record. Yeah. Five, in sleeves. 500-ish bench and 790-ish yep. deadlift. <laughs> So we're here with, uh, what would we call it, Nick? BBW Central? Uh, well, yes, that's one way to put it. Yeah, what does that stand the for? The Army. The Army. Uh, so that's Big Beautiful Woman. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple variations. There's also SS, BBW, Super Sized. Um, yeah. You could cover that one. So you just appreciate, yeah, yeah. like, you know, big, as Chris Jones would say, big girls need love too. <laughs> exactly. So that's, yeah. that's kind of like your core philosophy. Exactly. And then there's also some lifting on your channel, like make, a little bit? Well, yeah. I mean, they go hand in hand. So right. I bring that philosophy into the in, gym. Yes. Where, uh, it's here, bro. You know, you show the bigger girls some love in terms of the weights too. So the heavier weights need love as well as outside. Uh, let me ask you this. What is your best total? Uh, the best total actually happened to... Uh, Couple months ago at RPS meet, mm -hmm. uh, fifteen forty. Nice man. In sleeves? So in sleeves. Very yes. good. Was that uh, 
would that be 220? Uh, that was 242. I was right at 230. So yeah, you didn't want to cut. Yeah, that's cut. a smart choice. You know, I'm not oak yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not the water. <laughs> yeah. Let me, uh, and let me ask you this, uh, Nick. Two yeah. things: is what's next for you, and then where yes. can people find you? Okay. Uh, yeah. What's next? Probably just getting this knee healthy and hoping to compete in the summer, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but gotta pick pick a meet out, get this knee healthy first. Yeah. And you can always find me on YouTube, Instagram. Yeah. Tiger Strength, just like Tiger with a K. Yep. And um, yeah, hop on the BBW train. That's the most badass thing I've ever seen. Some taco meat. Uh, sick. Scorpion mask. Afro Samurai. I'm all gamer, animator. That's badass. Okay. The only person I've met with purple hair, which is the best color choice, I think. Tron, what's going on, man? What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm doing all right. This not is the first encounter yeah. ever. Yeah. I, I, heard, I heard about you, seeing you through social media you know, all the time. Everywhere I go to an event, your name pops up somewhere, so. As a so guy with no calves. To, you know, and know. what do you think? <laughs> You're good, man. I'm all right, all right. Calves are overrated. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> No one who ever sprinted fast had calves, just saying. Anyways, uh, I had an alright day, but you were lifting some mean weight. Talk me through what happened today. Um, so, before you guys came, I was doing a... I signed up for the CrossFit Games last night, uh, for the Open. What? And I was, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> look, look. I, I can explain, I can I, explain. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do not <laughs> nice. do any type of CrossFit work, but, you know... My fans, you know, my people, they're like, yo, just go for it. You yeah, see why not? You go. A challenge and, uh, to yourself. Yeah, a challenge, yeah, challenge yeah. to myself. But, you know, people always know I like to challenge myself. You know, I went for the NFL uh, yeah. with, no, with no college experience um, two years ago. Made it to a Jets tryout. Um, didn't fully make it after that. Um, and then on, I got an opportunity with the WWE. Mm -hmm. you know, went on to that. Actually made it, but declined because it was just... When you see the contract, it just wasn't worth it. Yeah, the commitment, man. Yeah. Like, uh, for you, to, for you yeah. to rise up, like, you got a YouTube channel, you got a lot of other yeah. things. Yeah, so I would have to, um, you know, with, with YouTube and the media and everything that I do on my own, yeah. you know, I'm no longer my own boss. I got to listen to somebody, and it just, I, I just didn't see the worth. Yeah. You know, it's just, that's just how it is. I was going to say, uh, tell me uh, your best lifts, because what's cool, like, uh, from seeing all the video and stuff, you're super explosive. You also lift, like, uh, we're joking today, but you use no uh, uh, wrist wraps. Right, you don't really use a belt or anything, but all the lifts are beasts. What are they? Um, so best on deadlift, seven thirty-five. Mm -hmm. um, most off squat was seven. I mean not seven. Uh, six maybe. You could say seven. No, no, no. Most off squat was six twenty. Uh, most off bench was five twenty. Yep. Um, OHP strict like two eighty. Yeah. Not today though. Uh, <laughs> That's because you just trained so much before, right? Yeah. I mean, I didn't expect to do any, honestly, any upper body stuff today. I was like, yo, I'm gonna do some leg stuff, and then Mike came in. Well, we're gonna do upper body. Like, All right. I would like to kind of jump into a yeah. powerlifting competition one day, yeah. or powerlifting, weightlifting, uh, for sure. I would just like to be a hybrid type of training. No, I, and I completely understand. I think when you have a lot of different, uh, a lot of potential, you can go a lot of different ways. So it's kind of exciting. You don't want to be tied down. Right, right, right. And but that, but it's always. It's it's been a negative for me also because it's like if I you focus on one thing. yeah if I focus on one thing I'll do really good I hear but, you but you know it's so hard for me to just commit to one thing because my channel started with my, my whole brand started because of um, fitness and gaming I mean yeah. like athletic training and gaming you know? yeah I do I do sports sports training and you know occasionally I'll do um, the bodybuilding powerlifting type of training and um, people just keep pushing me like yo go to a competition here and I'm like, I can't pull out my full potential because I don't want to just commit to that. Nice. Yo, let's go, man. Come on.
Come on! Ah. 